Yo guys, what is up? It's Andy here, back at you with another video. And today we are doing a quick comparison between the Ascense Tech and the Photon Phi or Photonify or Photon Phi uh, spectrometers. And we are just briefly going to explain what they are. So uh, if you haven't seen before, it's that little spectrum uh, that's attached to your light, you'll see it in a second, and that's going to be giving you a reading on different color spectrums within the light. So if you've got lots of red, lots of blue, lots of green, it's all going to come through uh, infrared even, uh, right, and yep. UV, and UV yeah, as well. And, UV, yeah. uh, and there's a couple of differences between the devices, so if you're in the market for a device like this, you're in the right place, and we have a expert, Anton, from EnergyWise, uh, who's going to be explaining a little bit of the differences on these two units. Basically it's paired and if I just take a, I think I can take a read yeah. like that. Cool. And then as you can and see, this is the, the spectrometer. The perfect. Spectrum me that, that's, that's the spectrum and this is the spectrometer. <laughs> you got it. Do you want to give us just a like an overall uh, difference between them? They both basically do a very similar job mm. and um, they're going to measure your spectrum and the intensity of that spectrum. The Photon Fire is unfortunately limited to Android only, and it comes in at a, at a bit of a cost, cost point less. This is a point and shoot device. He's got a higher individual threshold of, of um, intensity than the Ascent Stick, and, um, and he records individual records, whereas the Ascent Stick has the ability to record multiple records in the same set and yeah. allows you to compare them. So the, the Photon Fire comes with a, a little port to put on a, on a tripod, tripod yeah. which is quite a handy feature. You can walk away and make sure that you're not influencing mm. the readings by any means, but you have to be within a Bluetooth yeah, yeah. range. Okay, so this one's limited to Android only. I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, and then the, the Ascense Tech and Apple and Android, I mean, that's the benefit. Though it's more, it does have that uh, limitation of it needs to be factory calibrated, whereas the Photonify or Photonify has a sort of built-in calibration whether whether that's as good as obviously a factory calibration uh is up for debate but yeah i think this one has to go to it goes overseas for yeah, a calibration yeah. and it, it and it, it's certainly a, a cost that needs to be factored this, in this one and the photon fire look maybe every three calibrations you could send it into the to the mm, factory mm. and it also depends on what your requirements are if it's for yourself personally or if it's for a business that's you will take different steps yeah yeah but if it's if you've got a 10 million rand crop or something it's like you know you send it overseas but if it's just your uh, office lighting or something like that not that people aren't important <laughs> but it's yeah there, there's a, talking about that. <laughs> yeah there's a limitation on yeah your use case that you're going to be going through um yeah i'm excited to be playing with some of these in future hopefully and doing some more like taking it we're going to get it into the grow room and see what uh, sort of spectrum we are operating under we've also want to test it against some spectrums that are uh, promised uh, from suppliers because to be honest this is the first time I've ever held a spectrometer that's not like in the plus one million rand, I mean, mm. you, they normally are yeah, no, this size. This is and, radical technology. Uh, yeah, yeah, to get it this size is, is pretty impressive. And it was one of the first things I remember looking for when I got into this sort of, uh, uh, got seriously into growing. And it was just not even, I even had family asking, and they're like, oh, can't you get one of these things? I was like, yeah, if you have a million bucks lying around, and like so, years later, the technology is obviously shrunk down and become available, and it's quite a cool thing to be to to bring into the room. It's not maybe for every grower that is a hefty price. I know you guys are gonna be chirping in the comments. It's fifteen thousand rand. Um, no, it's like I probably wouldn't buy it myself for my size grower. Uh, neither would Dean, um, and yeah, not a lot of people wouldn't. The average is not, but you said as well, clubs. Uh, you know, pull together, and Easy. then it's not such a, a burden. Um, obviously, your factories, if you guys are out there with a big factory, spring for some some kit, it's not going to set you back. But that's pretty much the gist of it. 
uh, thank you guys so much for no, sure. for the explanation. Because we can record these data, now mm. we start to get actual data reference points. Hundred percent. And that's going to allow us to analyze over time and actually start to see where the where the harvests were better mm -hmm. and why, and you can start to adjust your your intensity levels accordingly. But yeah. without without that data, the data. you flip and That's where we were saying there's a podcast uh, on literally like why it's you guys probably didn't, you guys didn't watch much of it. It was called Why Is Data Important? And like this is the, this is why and like you know it's coming from the experts in the industry. Like data is important, it's a bit geeky and whatnot. But if you know at what point you are going to be getting ten percent extra yield because you bought a little machine and you now have. 150 plants times 10% extra yield times do the math and you know whatever you end up doing with whatever you're growing um, yeah <laughs> you know do, do the math and you know in a rec market if everything opens up as well that's that means you know that's that small percentage uh, amplifies it can be yeah, yeah, yeah worth amplifies like 100% uh, <laughs> we're joking yeah, a few extra uh, efficiency po uh, efficiency points and whatnot. You know, it could be a Porsche at the end of the year for some of these growers. What a <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's uh, uh, it, they maybe sell itself for the right person. Um, we're not saying rush out and get one unless you really need it, but uh, we'll do some tests on these. And it's yeah, they are similar, but you guys have got the differences now. And check you in the next video. Ciao.